Hello and welcome to episode 35 of season 2 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Hey! Hmm, so, Wednesday. Gonna start off in the S51, the old murder corn. Haven't played this much since the patch, have I? Maybe once or twice? Can't really remember how good it is, or how bad it is, or how it's changed. Let's say that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna start off with this. Uh, maybe we'll stay around this tier and we'll play some of the other other nationed artillery from this kind of, you know, area of the tech tree. Right, this is a fairly pleasant map to start on. Sand River, tier 7 match. Tier 7 across the board. Not seen that before. Okay, we're in the east. I think I'll sit over here, just to begin with. 43 second reload, that's not too bad. Is it worth getting aimed in here? Just for that initial spot type splash potential. Ten seconds to go. Think anything will come up here? That seagull's loud, isn't it? You'll really notice all the birds now. I've mentioned that. I'm surprised. Normally, someone likes to pop up at this bit. Hmm. LTG. Maybe we can have a have a wee go at him if we can get aimed in in time. Obviously, seeing as though there's absolutely nobody else. Well, yeah, there's a little T20. All right, and after we press the fire button, this guy shows up. Super duper. Okay. Well, we'll get aimed in then. A lot of people are headed down the centre. Kind of... We're sticking around this chap, but... Uh, I'm watching the map. So the north's fairly empty. There's not many people... in the centre have been spotted either. That T29 is in a good spot, and it's where you'd expect most of the heavies to be. And it's kind of annoying that this guy hasn't been spotted again sure that if we move over to aim in and this guy that he'll pop up again let's see if we can we can take a shot this chap so there we are that's half decent I'm gonna get moved because of the amount of things that have now appeared down south I think if we can get all the way up to here that would be good We've got hope that this T29 doesn't decide to come down this way. If he does, then we're going to get spotted. And then we'll probably die. Should we turn and get one more shot in? Oh, I think so. Let's see what we can do here then. Oh, get turned, get turned, get turned. Okay. Maybe we can take one of these guns out. And now we get moved again. So the T29 is still there. It's good. We got some assistance damage on the uh, T29 as well. Ooh, because we're quite slow, we need to make sure we get out of the way. Getting there slowly. Just watching our team dissolve. Not cool. E25 is just firing shot after shot after shot, isn't he? We really de do need to get into a decent position first before we start 
thinking about aiming in at somebody new. I think we're getting there. If we stop just where he came down. Then maybe we can help out the E25 and such. T20 is trying to get us. Yeah. See? Wonder if he's going to be able to get another shot on us. No, he's not. You see, so if we had have stopped, that would have been bad. Maybe we can try and help out the chaps over here then. Let's see what we can do. Thing is, we've got to get bloody aimed in as well. It's just a nightmare. Let's see what we can do on this chap, shall we? Ooh, aim time. Well, that's something. Not going to get spotted just yet. Let's see if we can move around into a position to be able to get something on the cap, potentially. Okay, there's three people on that cap. We've got 12 seconds left and 15 on our reload. Not cool. Yeah, well, good game. And now we're loaded. Okay, we did better than I thought. It didn't feel like we we did as much damage as that, but... Hmm. Fifth on damage, seventh on XP. Four shots fired, two direct hits, two penetrations, two splash, 1,191. We got both assistance and stun, only four stuns. We didn't make a loss, even though we took some damage. We did get something on this chaplet. So we damaged his tracks. Did 230 damage to him and stunned him, so that's something. Alright, let's try the murder call again. These these this crew needs a bit more XP anyway, doesn't it? So maybe what we can do is throw a personal reserve on. So let's have a look. Crew, 300 percent for an hour. 200 percent We've got loads of those, let's give one of those a go. Good. Another half decent map for us to uh, to be on with the murder corn. Redshire, tier 7 match again. Bit of a mix this time, we've got 6s and 5s with us. So we're in the north, and I feel that this map's big enough for us to be able to move around and get aimed in and loaded and things without the potential of being overrun too quickly. I say should be able to, because you know how things are. So we'll start off looking this way then. Things might get spotted before we get loaded, but hey ho. You never know. Our T67's in a good spot to see things that come up this way. Sometimes people knock trees over and stuff too, which kind of helps you get an idea of where they are. We'll have to watch the, uh, the eastern side of the map, seeing as though there's not really... Not that we have many heavies, we've got one. But this section's normally quite busy, isn't it? Okay, I'm I'm very surprised that nothing's been spotted anywhere yet. Yeah, there's something. Okay, we splished him. Couple of mediums over in the west. Just the leopard over in the east. Hmm, this is all a little strange, isn't it? Okay, the M4's had a little bit of a uh, little bit of his hit points knocked away. Maybe we can do something with him. Ooh. Okay, both teams have lost the tier five. Oh, if only we could get loaded a little quicker, we could have got some splash damage for our chap in the other artillery. Now, maybe, no that went long, 
Meh. You see, I've started to get in the habit of watching the shots land and then moving afterwards again. It's a bad habit to be in. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be moving as soon as you've taken the shot. Then there's pretty much zero chance of being countered. Let's see what we can do here then. Well, it's even Stevens at the moment. could get moved and have a go at the Churchill I guess but our KV-1S is being very cautious is it because of tank destroyers and such do you think Hubble's doing very well for himself do you have all the RNG today sir hmm. ok well this is a bit Boring. And there's the Hummel and the SU-8. Can we get aimed in? Not going to need to get aimed in on him. And there we go, look, the Hummel got another one. Good stuff. Come this way so we haven't got to move our hull. How about that? No. Damn you. Okay. Let's see if maybe we can. Damn it. Let's see if we can get aimed in, possibly. God, the same time is so slow. Oh. We're not going to be able to get him, are we? Because we've got rocks and shit in the way. <sighs> oh, I really didn't think that was going to hit anything. Okay, what am I doing? Sitting still to get countered. And there's one artillery still left, so possibility is there. Are we going to get loaded before he comes after us? Probably not. And the SU-100, guys. Well, there we go was a defeat again. It was about the amount of damage I thought we did that time. We were still third, fourth, even. Blimey, didn't manage any kills or anything. Three shots fired, one direct hit with a penetration, which I'm guessing was on the, uh, the SU-100. Two splashes for 827 hit points of damage. Three stuns. Didn't make a loss, though. Okay. All right, then. Well, thinking of going out in the GW Panther. How about that? Get some uh, XP for this crew. And yeah. Way mines. Tier 7 match. We split again, look, between tier 7s and 6s. The artillery are going to know where we are on this map. I mean, everybody knows, don't they? As long as we keep moving, I think we'll be fine. Going to sit over this way. D. We here we are. Right, we'll get aimed in. Almost there. Good. Decent amount of splash on both. Everybody's kind of headed up this way. Carnage! too long on the reload either so we should be able to throw another one I'm glad that that first shell went very long because <laughs> yeah. nice maybe we could have a quick look for some artillery hmm. there's the S51 there goes the S-51. Tree down there, look. Maybe, let's keep an eye. Just because of where everyone's sat on the map at the moment. 
Good stuff. So we were stunned. So someone's looking... Someone's looking over this way. Okay, I was just going to move because of that uh, Type 64, but no need. Okay, there's the M44. It looks like one of us did some damage to him. Where's the GW Panther? They're all in positions that we can't really hit, aren't they? I mean, apart from this guy. There's the GW Panther. Someone shooting at him. Is it worth us getting aimed in? Maybe we should have a go at him. We Yo oh. well, That's poop. Let's uh, try and get aimed in back this way then, shall we? I'm sure we can get aimed in here, yes we can. Good, so hopefully our VK will spot something. You that T29 is close. Maybe we can get shotgun in on him. Can we ram him? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't think he's going to survive. Bye bye. So maybe the T29 had like, you know, thought you had more hit points left or something, but yeah, so that was a victory. Good. Third on damage, two kills. Third on XP as well. Six shots fired, three direct hits, three penetrations, four splash for 1,096 hit points of damage. Cool, five stuns. Bit of stun damage and assistance as well. Times two for the day. Good amount of credits. Look, we're back over five million again. Lovely. And another personal reserve. Good. Yeah, it was a nice way to end it. Right, well, I'm going to leave it here. Um, yeah, because we're coming up to around 20 minutes and we've had three matches, so... Yeah, a bit of a mixed bag, but fun nonetheless. So leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed. I appreciate you guys being here and, and watching and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys Friday. So until then, bye.